Hey everybody, welcome to Control for a feature focused video. In this video, we're going to talk about DMX settings slash speed on the physical DMX outputs in version 17 plus. The DMX setting window allows you to set how DMX is routed out of the console to the DMX ports, ARTnet, or streaming ACN. The lines fixtures are patched to may have more than one output, as well as more than one protocol being used for the output at the same time. If DMX settings are wiped at the start of a new show, the outputs A through H will default to lines 1 through 8, depending on the number of outputs of the console, and all ARNET and streaming ACN are unassigned. As of version 12, a Titan 1, a T1, and a T2 can be used as additional outputs for any other console. This does not add additional licensed lines to a T1, T2, or T3, only additional outputs. Only one T1 or T2, or one of each, may be used at any one time. These are listed as external outputs when connected to a console, or when connecting a T1 to a T2. The console or USB interface outputs are labeled A through H depending on which console. Multiple outputs can be signed per line. Clicking the cog icon allows you to adjust the settings. DMX output, turn on or off DMX output for this protocol. Merge priority, a value between 0 and 200 where higher numbers have priority, allows you to know to choose which console to follow or other multiple consoles are transmitting. This is used in conjunction with DMX node settings. See our video on that, link in the description. Break length, this is the time between DMX packets. By default, this is 968. In circumstances where a fixture can be seen an occasional glitch, try increasing this number. Some numbers require this to be 4,000 in order to work smoothly. Mark after break. By length, this is 76. Usually, this will not need to be adjusted. Extra stop bit, enable this as an extra stop bit to each byte. This option can sometimes solve issues where fixtures can be seen regularly glitching. So let's take a look at that. Here I am on version 17 of Titan, along with my DMX scope hooked up. So if we go into our system menu, AV on disk or system on the Titan Go virtual interface, and then we go to DMX settings, we see we have no lines assigned, and I can see what I have here. I have a Titan mobile connected, as well as a T2 and a T1. I see they're listed as external, and my Titan mobile's A through D outputs are listed as internal. So if I wanted to have uh, whatever I have patched in line one, come on and I'll put A of the mobile. I can go ahead and click on here and then assign it here. And we now see that my DMX scope is showing that it is now receiving DMX. I'm going to click on the gear icon to change the settings. Here, if I wanted to turn output off, I could just turn it off. If I wanted to change the mode priority, I could do it. Again, see a video on that. At break length, if I needed to slow our DMX down, so I was to change this to say, oh, we'll do 2500. And hit enter. We can now see on our DMX scope, our frames went down to 38. If we set that back to default, we see it went back up to 41.3. If I try to turn on the extra stop bit, at least that also slows down the DMX. If I do the, the break length and the stop bit, we'll do 2500 again. We can see it drops to 35 frames per second, essentially slowing our DMX, allowing for some fixtures to not have issues. Again, we can set that all back to default, click here, turn to the default values, and we'll go ahead and turn off our extra stop bit, and exit on out of here. This has been adjusting the settings and speed of the DMX outputs in Titan. Hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Lights US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.